It's down to the final hours before Hurricane Milton makes landfall along the coast of Florida. Hopefully those who were warned to evacuate did so. We know many of those who did came right here to Georgia. Yeah, and WLB News 10's so Brittany Blake is live in Valdosta where hotels and parking lots are full this evening. Brittany. That's right, Carla and Quinlan, but it looks like Milton did not only bring Florida evacuees, but also some rain and a cold front. It is raining out here and chilly, but you can see Florida tags all over Valdosta Lowndes County. I spoke to a mother earlier who evacuated with her children from Sarasota on Sunday, and she brought them here just hoping that with all the uncertainty that they could just be safe through the storm. That's the worst part. You know, as a mother, I'm trying to keep myself together. I've never been scared of a hurricane. And then one, one o'clock in the morning Sunday, I just pictured, I, I had actually overnighted life jackets to my house just in case. And I'm picturing my kids underwater and I just drove straight here. Lots of Florida evacuees arrived to Valdosta where hotels were sold out for miles due to Hurricane Helene displacing residents here in Lowndes County. Currently, the Walmart parking lot is filled with cars, trucks, and campers of people just waiting out Hurricane Milton. Right now, a few gas stations on the exit, like on exit 22, do have bags over some of the pumps, but for the most part, they still have gas. I went to a few gas stations earlier, and they said they are not sold out now, especially those in the inner city. And I saw some posts earlier of people just saying to save gas along the interstates for those who are traveling to safety. Reporting live in Valdosta, Brittany Blake, WAOB, your hometown news source. Yeah, Brittany, just heart-wrenching to hear that mother's voice as she was trying to evacuate there. Thank you, Brittany.